Hey, a, a two-part question here for you. You obviously played for uh, Coach Andy Reid, and, and you had experience with them at the, the Pro Bowl in 2017. What stood out to you the most working out with them? And then the second part to that is how much of that contributed to your decision to play here in Kansas City? Um, yeah, what stood out to me the most is they were uh, – they were so relaxed, like they were just so like loose. They were just out there having fun, like uh, cracking jokes and stuff like that in the huddle. Uh, so I liked how loose they were. Um, and then they would just go out and make plays. So that was like dope to see. Like I, I kind of came from places where everybody was just really, you know, serious all the time. So that was like real cool. Um, and that kind of tied into it, uh, my decision coming here, um, Coach Reed. Uh, just with his ability to draw up like these crazy plays, um, seeing that firsthand, uh, that that was that was dope. So yeah, that was that was a big part of uh, what what uh, brought me here. Let's go to Bob Fesco. Go ahead, Bob. You know, you've had the opportunity to uh, play behind – or not play behind, but, you know, play on the other side of the field of Patrick Mahomes. Now you get the opportunity to play with him. What have you seen so far from Patrick, and, and what's it going to be like to play with the uh, the uh, the MVP? Uh, it's been crazy, man. It's uh, been crazy seeing him at practice, like, just casually throwing the ball 70 yards, just, like, flicking it. Uh, that's been crazy to see. He's got a lot of talent. Um, and his speed as well, um, you know, just, like, on option plays and stuff like that. Uh, also, his intelligence uh, and all the different uh, cadences that he that he rattles through and, and checking the audibles and stuff like that. For a guy that young to have command like that, his confidence is pretty impressive for how young he is. Um, that's that's been pretty cool to see firsthand up close. Let's go to Len Jennings. Go ahead, Len. Uh, Kaliche, uh, uh, thanks for uh, joining us. I just uh, more on Mahomes. He has a knack to improvise uh, back there. Uh, does that, and being a veteran like yourself, does that kind of change or force you to kind of change your style or your game that maybe something you're not used to, or have you had some experience? with guys who are mobile and, and like to improvise like that? Um, I've had a little bit of experience with guys that are that are mobile. Uh, when I was in Baltimore uh, with my backup uh, quarterback, uh, I had a pretty athletic guy back there. Um, and I had a little bit of experience with uh, Sam. He's faster than people think. Uh, he'd scramble around a little bit as well. And obviously Derek is a guy that's pretty athletic and likes to move around and likes to get outside of the pocket and, and make plays. So. Um, I, I've had a few quarterbacks that, that scramble around and do that. Um, it makes it fun because you get to react. You know, you're blocking your guy. You kind of see his eyes light up and him drop back. So you get to, like, be the aggressor, um, which I kind of like to do in pass pro. Um, so it actually makes it a little bit uh, more fun and exciting. You know, you're not just, like, sitting back and, you know, setting or whatever and just sitting there. Um, anything can happen at any moment. And to me, like, that makes it, uh, again, more fun and makes it more exciting. So... Uh, it's going to be fun to be back there with a the playmaker like that, um, knowing that the play can get extended and we can end up running outside of the pocket and I can pick up like an extra blocker, cut somebody, hit somebody, trying to jump, put his hands in the air or something like that. So um, I'm excited about it. Let's go to Blair Kirkhoff. Go ahead, Blair. Hey, I just want to know uh, where you were, what you were doing, and, um, and what was your reaction when you found out it was the Chiefs? Um, so this off season, I was training in San Diego uh, <laughs> with a guy that was primarily like jujitsu and mixed martial arts and stuff like that, uh, working on core and leverage and stuff, building that type of strength. And then came back up to San Francisco to put on the uh, put some weight back on. I got down to like two ninety and then built back up to three ten. Started like the heavy squats and stuff like that, uh, conditioning, running on the beach. Um, I was actually at the park with my girlfriend and got the call, uh, it was somebody's birthday party. Um, so I kind of like had to walk somewhere and get somewhere quiet. Um, and I was pretty excited, I was fired up. I mean, obviously like the first thing I thought of uh, was playing with moms and then I actually uh, accidentally leaked his phone number uh, because I, uh, I, like I, you know, I had like the, the Instagram or whatever, I did a video and it had his number out there and I had to like take it down real quick. But I was so excited I didn't even think about it. Um, yeah, like I was pretty hyped. My agent called me, um, you know, and, you know, instantly the first thing I thought about was this is a really good team. Um, we got a chance to win a championship. Um, you know, I haven't won one in 
I think it's been eight seasons uh, since my rookie year. Uh, so I thought immediately, like, this would be a beautiful way to, you know, kind of uh, cap off uh, you know, a long NFL career. So um, those are all the thoughts that were going through my head. Let's go to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, thanks for taking some time. So uh, your signing came very shortly after uh, Laurent duvenet tardif the right guard, opted out. I know that you have a ton of experience at left guard. Um, have the Chiefs talked to you at all about maybe the position along the line that, that you will play? Do you have a preference? Do you feel comfortable if they wanted you to go to right guard, you could do it? I was just curious where you stand on that. Yeah, I'm pretty open. Um, <laughs> when I came into this game, I was a, a tackle. I never played guard in my life. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty open. They've kind of just said I'm going to be in the rotation. I'm learning the playbook right now, obviously. Um, there's a lot of wrinkles to learn, but in any way, uh, shape, or form, I'm able to help. Uh, I'm excited to just do my part, you know, and help a, a franchise that knows how to win continue to do so. Let's go to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Gleechi. It's nice to meet you. Um, in getting with an offensive line that's pretty veteran savvy, particularly on the tackles with Eric and, and Mitchell, just um, – from watching the Chiefs and kind of getting an idea of what the playbook is, how much of they, uh, how much can you build chemistry right now before you do sort of more on the field practice work? And then what about the Chiefs when you looked at their offensive line last year? Do you feel like you can translate your skills to in terms of helping them uh, become and stay a top offense? Um, so I would say in terms of building chemistry, um, we're here, you know, 7, 8 a.m. till, you know, 6 p.m. And so we're around each other all the time, cracking jokes, sharing music, just hanging out, lifting weights and stuff like that. So that's kind of how we're building our chemistry right now. Um, in terms of what I've seen with those guys, uh, technically sound, like one, like two of the most technically sound tackles I've seen play the game. And I've been around the game for a while, and I'd say, like, they're, they're really high up there in terms of their technique. They're very consistent. Um, that's something that – I definitely need to work on to get on that type of level. So that's something that I need to, you know, I can learn from them. But I think what I bring to it is the physicality, you know, the finish, the aggression. Um, that's definitely what I bring to the table. So hopefully I can learn from them and they can, they can learn from me um, in terms of that type of intensity, especially on Sundays. All right, looks like we got a couple more guys. Let's go Matt, Derek, and then we'll finish with Danny. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, welcome to Kansas City. Um, Curious, how are you feeling, you know, particularly with the shoulder from last year? And, you know, is, is coming to Kansas City and this group uh, kind of a breath of fresh air after your experience with New York last year? Um, yeah, uh, I'm feeling pretty great. Um, I think, like, we had bench the other day. I put up 375 for five on my last set. So I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling like my old self. Uh, in terms of coming back here, yeah, it's definitely a – a breath of fresh air to be back here. Um, I played my college career out here at Iowa State a couple hours away. So it's good to be around the nice people of the Midwest again. So that's been pretty cool. And getting to link up with all my college friends and stuff like that. Um, that's been pretty cool. Um, in terms of uh, the whole Jets situation, I'm just kind of glad that I can put my, that behind me right now and just to focus on being here and being part of an organization like this. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to moving on and uh, to that next chapter of my career and uh, winning some football games. Okay, let's go to Danny to close this out. Go ahead, Danny. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Welcome to Kansas City. Um, okay, so we've talked to Andy a lot about how this offseason and how weird it is is really the toughest on linemen. So when it comes to like timing and footwork to kind of build on Nate's question, how do you overcome that? And especially without a preseason, how do you get all the timing and chemistry together on the offensive line? So the way we've been doing it is with uh, individual drills. Obviously, we have uh, the other linemen line up against us. And, um, you know, we work on timing. We work on punching, um, on pass sets and stuff like that, and on combos. So we just do that with bags. Um, obviously, that's different than doing that against a live person that's going to move out of the way. But right now, that's how we're doing it. And we have a pretty better group. So everybody pretty, pretty much generally knows, like, how to slide, how to set, how to punch. So um, it's been pretty good so far. And, these guys have all been together uh, for a while now. So it's really like, you know, when I'm in there, I just kind of like get, get the energy from them. I kind of see how they said and what their technique is. And then I just kind of match that. So that's how it's been working so far. Kalechi, we appreciate your time today, my friend. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.